at our press conference to discuss uh, farming first. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm Ajay Bashi. I'm actually a practicing farmer from Zambia. And I am the current president of the International Federation of Agriculture Producers. Um, I was elected um, at the 38th Farmers Congress in June 2008. IFAP has been in existence for 62 years and we represent over 600 million farmers worldwide. Um, and I am also been associated with organized agriculture for 22 years. So I just wanted to quickly take you through the Farming First initiative, which is a fully integrated approach, uh, which involves um, saving na uh, safeguarding natural resources, sharing our knowledge, building local access, protecting harvests, enabling access to markets, and prioritizing research imperatives. And there you have the full cycle. It's a fully integrated and continuous cycle. And that is essentially, in a nutshell, what Farming First is all about. Um, this initiative was also developed by the three major groups at the UNCSD 17, which is the Farmers Major Group, the Research and Technology Major Group, and the Business and Industry Major Group, where we were able to discover a lot of synergies amongst ourselves and were able to develop this consensus viewpoint. And we hope a lot more of our, our major groups within the CSD 17 would be able to come on board. The challenge we have today, ladies and gentlemen, is to triple food production by 2050 using the same resources in an environmentally sustainable, economically feasible, and socially responsible manner. And I don't need to reiterate this, but obviously all of you know, it's the farmers that feed the cities. And if we continue with the neglect of the agriculture sector, has been, case, has been the case over the past 20 years, this farmer's ability to feed cities is in jeopardy. And you cannot afford to have any agriculture policy without the farmers first. And this means that if we don't follow this model, you are going to have a situation where our food supply will not be guaranteed. So we are calling upon the policymakers of the world and anybody else who is involved with policy development and major stakeholders to assist us develop a new agricultural model that is peop people-centered and knowledge-based. So I thank you very much for your attention for me from the farmers group.